Assalamu alaikum and greetings to everybody here. Uh, it's a pleasure to be here uh, to address everybody involved uh, who are sincerely involved with stopping the violence uh, in our communities uh, throughout the states and especially uh, the immediate uh, inner cities. A lot of people know uh, MC Hammer, the entertainer, performer, the dancer. But my roots, it's East Oakland, High Street in particular, a lot of the brothers who are just standing up here, they've been incarcerated in any of the Northern California penitentiaries. They're familiar with the 415, they're familiar with Oaktown, they're familiar with the Bay Area. That's where I'm from and that's what I always have been a part of and quite frankly still a part of. But I choose to represent an answer rather than to add to the problem. And there's a lot of brothers who are like Bo in the Unity One effort who support, even though they themselves may not be able to stand up to the challenge of the environment, the challenge of I have to be me or I have to be what somebody else wants me to be or it's too late for me. They support the efforts of a bull, a MC Hammer, and others who say, man, we got to stop all this violence. We have to do something to change our community. Take a brief walk with me from the 60s through the 80s. Somewhere along the line, the message changed. Early 60s, we were fighting just for the right to vote. People marching, walking, unity. I could live next door to Bo, leave my door unlocked, not have to worry about coming home, my house being broken into, something happening to my kids. 1964, 65. I'm 34 years old. I was born in 62. I have a real good memory. God has blessed me with a real good memory. I watch the things that happen around me. I watch us go from unity to destruction, self-destruction. 68, helicopters flying everywhere, riots. 70s, early, late 60s, Vietnam. 67, the gains start to rise up as a result of environment, as a result of poverty, as a result of lack of education, as a result of a lot of things that were not there for us. What you see today in the African American is a soldier that has been able to live through some of us and survive without food, on a regular basis, having to hustle without the same education as the rest of the world is receiving. The fear, the fear that the world has of the African American man, it's a very real fear and it should be to a certain extent. The next riots that occur, the United States is not prepared for. You sent us all those guns, we have them now. You left us alone, you took the money out of our educational system, so now you have a whole bunch of soldiers frustrated, can't see in the daylight, no daylight. That's why you find the MC Hammer at a Muslim convention. You find me here. <laughs> because I know from, from my own personal experience that there are Muslims who are out there, out there trying to help, trying to change. There's other religions in this country and I'm not challenging or saying that other religions are not participating. I'm not saying that. I'm saying I see the effort of the Muslim in the streets, in the inner city, trying to save lives, trying to help. And I'm saying you guys are not alone. Some of us who are not Muslims if your goal is peace, if your goal is love, if your goal is unity, then use us. We're here. We're 
not looking for anything else. I'm already a celebrity. What is that? That's nothing. The lights flash, the cameras flash, people know you. But what are you doing to really help? It's not easy. It's not easy. Some celebrities, they get caught up in the lights and the cameras and they start believing the images of themselves on the television. I never believed that because I kept the guys around me who were still struggling to survive. My partners get out of the penitentiary, they come right to my office. Hammer, can I get a couple of thousand? Can I get 500? Man, I just want to get some, some clothes, get a car, and get back out there. It's no secret in Oakland, everybody who knows me, it's no secret. All my friends, my entourage, as they used to say, were made up of nothing but ex-cons. Why? My brothers. I could be one of them tomorrow. Put my back against the wall, tell me my kid's not going to eat. Watch what you see. It's different. It's easy to sit there and say, I wouldn't do that. Get your back against the wall. I am a product of East Oakland. I'm a product of High Street. I'm not bragging or boasting. I had a conversation with another one of my friends who just got out the penitentiary a few weeks ago. He's here with me in LA right now. And we were talking. On my block alone, we have six friends all in jail for the same thing. Multiple murders. Not one or two, multiple, multiple murders. Multiple murders. We have a demon that just hovers over our community. He just stays there. He stays there, and he gets inside of us, and any time he sets that, that one thing to set us off, the value of life has declined so much, it's so easy to kill. We need your help. You need our help. We have to come together. I can't turn my back on the next man. I can't look at somebody else and say, because they're a religious affiliation, because there are people in every religion who are not right, no matter what the religion is. Some people quote God, some people quote Allah. I want to see the fruit, the love. I want to see the love, the love to help the brothers who may not be as fortunate as us. When Bo spoke today, he spoke sincerely. Can we not just leave here today and say, oh, that was a nice speech? Oh, that was nice what he did. That, that was real heart touching. But he's speaking about needing help, needing support. All of us in here are not struggling. We're not all struggling financially. You heard the man say happy birthday to his mother. How many people heard him say that and say, oh, but I couldn't do nothing for you? No, you sitting on a pocket full of money. The humble man is the man that's supposed to represent love, Allah, the humble man. So how come somebody is not going to humbly pass something to somebody else, then pass it to somebody else, then pass it to both so he can say happy birthday to his mother? In the end, it's only us, all of us. We have to help each other. We can stop the violence. It's going to be a step at a time, but I seek all of your love and all of your prayers, and I max some blessings of everybody. Thank you. We thank our uh, brother MC Hammer, who reminded us of our Muslim nature to be charitable and we thank him for taking time from his heavy schedule and devoting his time for community service.